Hi, folks, uh, everyone out there in Radio Land. Uh, Dan back with a brief update on a receiver that I uh, talked about in a couple of other uh, previous videos, which is the uh, Ratty RF919 uh, portable, uh, which you see here. And this Ratty uh, 919 was sent to me some weeks ago by the company uh, for review. And those of you who know my videos probably have seen. What I've said about this uh, so far, um, so the new development with this 919, I've been kind of waiting for this for several weeks, is that I received uh, an email from Ratty um, yesterday uh, announcing that they uh, have a new firmware uh, update for this radio that they hoped uh, would address the main problem that I had and many others have with it, which is the soft muting uh, you know, while you're tuning, which is a real, real annoying thing in uh, any HF uh, receiver, uh, and especially this one with it also with its AGC characteristics and kind of hard crashes with that uh, Silicon Labs chip inside. Uh, so I had high hopes uh, when I saw this uh, email. Um, it The link that the uh, company provides uh, to the firmware update uh, took me to an update file, and you basically, uh, there are instructions there. It's, it's pretty clear, although some of the graphics are hard to see. Um, you undertake the update by using the uh, micro SD card on the side, uh, which has to be um, no higher than 64 gigabytes, which is what this card is. I've never been able to get this particular card working, so I had to use another one uh, for the update. You then uh, download the file, put it on the card, rename the file, uh, basically very simple as rf919.upd for update. And what's supposed to happen uh, is that, um, you know, with a press of this button here, uh, the play button, um, you see a UPD and then you see four zeros on the screen. And after that, the, the radio is supposed to come back. But, you know, surprise, this one didn't. Uh, this radio appears to be totally bricked um, <laughs> after the update. So, uh, ironies of ironies, uh, you know, I'm, I'm unable to review or assess whether this particular firmware update from Ratty uh, has been able to address the soft, uh, soft muting issue uh, on the radio. So uh, I've contacted them, uh, you know, sent them a picture of the radio. I did try to take the batteries out to see if that would reset it uh, for a restart. Um, kind of searched uh, in vain for any kind of a reset button on this radio. Maybe I'm missing that in the instructions. Uh, but anyway, the big news is, is again, that Ratty uh, claims that it has a firmware update for the RF-919. Um, you know, my hopes are up. I mean, if it can deal with the soft muting on this receiver, um, all the better. Uh, I don't expect that it's going to be of the level of having no soft muting, such as, you know, on the uh, Texan S S8800, which is on the shelf uh, behind me here. Um, but, uh, you know, so I'm waiting for news from Ratty. Hopefully they'll, they'll send me a new, uh, a new receiver with this uh, new firmware on it. And I can get back to you and, uh, you know, tell you whether uh, this firmware has had the impact that they hope it will have. So anyway, that's the story. New firmware for the RF-919. Um, if, if they've contacted you or you, you've seen this firmware, you have it, proceed with caution. You have to follow the directions exactly as they say. Uh, when performing the update, you cannot press any other buttons while the update is underway on the receiver. Um, but in my case, I followed the instructions uh, exactly as they are, as they were uh, set down in the instruction sheet, and I have a bricked radio here. So anyway, not very happy about that, but I wanted to let you know um, about that, and I'll be back if I hear more from Ratty uh, with another update. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.